Good evening, everyone. Hello, Carla. Hello, Vilma. Carlos. Hello, <laughs> yeah. Peter. How Hello, are you Vilma. doing, Candy? Good evening. Hello, Kalek. Good evening, Iris. Iris says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good evening, Kalek. Good evening, Vilma, Christian, Thelmi, Marta, Livia. Welcome, hey, Jessica. Hi. Welcome, Ileana. Levin. Hey, Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Are you doing okay? <laughs> are you tired? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? How are you doing? Relaxed. Relaxed. Okay, good. Good. Do you work on Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays? All day? All day or just uh, half of a day? Until noon. Mm. Do you? Uh huh. Tell me, Vilma. Go ahead. I not work at Saturday. Okay, I don't work on Saturdays. Okay. I don't work. I don't work on Saturdays. Well, that's good. That's very good, Vilma. Okay, welcome, Julio. Let's see. Christian, hello. Hello, Amanda. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hi, Amanda. Good evening, Julio. Okay, people, let's start and let's call the roll. Let me call the roll. Amanda Graciela Perez Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Remember to turn on your cameras and say present when you hear your name. Caleca Visaí Marinero Asensio. Present teacher. Candelaria de Los Ángeles Nolasco de Flores. Present teacher. Carol Ivette Chávez Reyes. Cristian Nilson Ayala Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Nice to see you, Christian. Okay. Delmi Guadalupe Martinez Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Estela Mabel Orellana de Del Cid. Iliana Carolina Calderón Cisneros. Present teacher. Iris Marina Portillo de Reyes. Present teacher. Iris Janet Barrera Herrera. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Karen Maricela Rivera de Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Raquel Mendoza Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Jenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Levin Giovanni Martínez. Lisset del Carmen Hernández Mismit. Marta Lidia Godínez. Marta Lidia. Present teacher. Okay. Present. Okay. René Armando Avendaño Pineda.
Reinaldo Chávez Guerra. Alexandra Raquel Ávila de Axume. Present teacher. Ingrid, um, perdón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Present. Carla Janet García González. Present. María Magdalena Ronquillo Magaña. Present. Okay. Marielos Janet Cornejo Erazo. Vilma Consuelo Guzmán de Girón. Present. Okay, here we go. We are starting tonight with a new unit. Yay, new unit. Yes. So tonight we are starting with a new topic. But before, as always, as usual, we are going, we are uh, doing a feedback, okay? We are having a review before starting because uh, we are starting a new unit. So I just want you to be aware of what we have been studying during the whole course, okay? So uh, first of all, we are doing this reading activity, okay? This is a reading activity, but let me introduce the course, I mean, the unit, I'm sorry, the unit. Uh, because the unit for tonight, unit four, is it has a general topic, it has a general objective, and it has also it has also um, specific objectives for each class. Okay, so let's start introducing this. Okay, here we go. The topic of unit four is tech support, okay? Tech support, just uh, having a, a general review is, unit one was work-related events. Remember, present simple, activities, time expressions for present simple, routinary activities, then unit two, ongoing activities at the workplace. Ongoing activities at the workplace. It means that we started to um, express how frequently we do something or we uh, are making, no making, uh, we are doing activities in our workplaces, okay? Who is responsible of what? What time do they do this? How frequently you do something? Unit three was scheduled events at the workplace. Uh, we studied the present continuous, right? The present continuous, the purposes of the, uh, the three usages of the present continuous. We learned how to ask questions. We learned how to say in present, I mean, I'm sorry, in affirmative and in the negative way. So tonight we are starting tech support, tech support. Let's uh, go to see what's the main goal, okay? What's the main goal to um, this video conference, okay? If the topic of this video conference is ways to report a problem, ways to report a problem is our topic. So the objective or the purpose, the main goal is that participants will be able to report a problem via telephone. But, but let's say, let's say our general objective for this unit, participants will be able to express common tech support problems and how to report them by phone, okay? Participants will be able to express common tech support problems and how to report them by phone, okay? Pero como el tema de ahora es ways to report a problem, okay, ways, ways es formas, maneras, caminos, okay, ways to report a problem, 
we have to see that not only by phone, we can report a problem, right? Maybe we have different social networks or maybe we have different media like the email or um, person to person is another way to report a problem or maybe in a message, maybe by Twitter, maybe by WhatsApp, I don't know, but we have to learn ways to report a problem, even though the media that you are using to communicate in your company, you have to learn how to report a problem, okay? How to report a problem. Um, independent, right? That's independent of the way, I mean, of the media that you are using, there is a way, a way to report a problem. Okay, so um, before starting with that topic, okay, before starting with that topic, as our agenda says, we are doing these uh, present continuous feedback, even though we are not going to <clears throat> go um, all over the topic because, just be, because this is just a feedback. Then we are having a game online about questions, okay? Questions. Uh, WH questions, because that's very important is, and it's a very um, useful topic. Then we, we have this conversation time and a reading, um, a reading activity, okay? We are having this reading activity, and then we, ha we have this conversation time, and um, we are learning tonight to identify identify common issues in the workplace, common issues in the workplace. And obviously the way to report a problem, we are learning, I would like to report a problem. And then the session one-on-one -on -one for tonight is Kalek Avisa's turn. Kalek, are you ready to stay with me for 10 minutes after the class tonight? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So let's start. Let's start tonight with this reading activity and then we go to this online game, okay? So the first activity is the reading time. This reading is in on page, it's on page 34 in your manuals, okay? So go to your handbooks and the case they, uh, through the platform, you can get the, the manual. Also, I sent, I sent the, uh, the screenshot of this reading, okay? So you have it also in your WhatsApp group chat. So um, first of all, let's take a look. Let's take a look on this. Echémosle una ojeadita. Let's take a look on this. What do you notice here? One, two, three, four. They are talking about four important things. Four things, right? They are talking about four things. What things are they talking about here? Así, en una forma general, ¿de qué cuatro cosas están hablando ahí? De la celebración de un cumpleaños. Ok. De la organización para una clase de yoga. Ok. Can you say that in English? Organize yoga classes. Correct. Ajá. Carlita, Raquel, about the birthdays. Cele celebré. Ajá. Birthday. Birthdays. Ok. Good. And we have two more, right? We have paintball and guess who? So let's listen. Let's listen to this um, audio. Uh, this person is reading this article. It's an article, okay? If you go to your page 34, 
you are finding that there you have um, uh, things that you can do in your workplaces with your coworkers. Okay, so let's listen to the audio. Oh, just let me stop this sharing. Porque si no, no va a salir. Permítanme. Now we are. ¿Tienen a la mano eh, la lectura? Yes. Ok. Sí, teacher. Ok, good. So, let's listen and read. Ok, let's listen and read. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number four, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. Do you want to listen to that again? Would you like to? Would you like to listen to that again? Okay, let's listen to this again. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Number three, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some team by organizing a day of paintball. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be the prime target. Number four, guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up in a board and get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, lighthearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay. Do you have any question about the vocabulary in this reading? Good 
te dice teacher simple like at snow lighting simply acknowledging ajá mhm simply acknowledging esa palabra qué significa acknowledging eh, estar al tanto o dar a conocer dar a conocer o okay. estar al tanto okay it's a verb right it's a verb if and if you see it has ing at the end right acknowledging is a gerund okay it's a gerund any other question? For it outlook. Outlook. Number one. Outlook. Oh, okay. It says having their attitude and outlook. Outlook means and su percepción del alrededor o cómo miran. Eh, todo alrededor de su percepción podría ser una buena traducción en este caso uh -huh. ok is there any other question Okay, now here are my questions, okay? First of all, what's the headline of this article? What's the headline of this article? ¿Cuál es el título de este artículo? What's the headline? No está escrito. Aquí en, la, en el slide no está escrito. Solo lo escuchamos. ¿Lo ponemos nuevamente? Yes. Ok. Pay attention from the beginning. From the beginning, ok. Activities to keep your employees happy. Number one. Organize yoga classes. If you want. Okay. What was the headline of this article? Uh huh. Again. Activity. Uh huh. Activity. Activity. Happy. happy employees. This. To keep your employees happy. Yes. Activities okay. to keep your employees happy. That's the topic of this article. Okay, no está escrito en el slide, pero está dicho en el audio. Okay, so we were talking about activities to keep the employees in a company happy. Even though if you are not the boss, maybe you want that your boss uh, organize these kind of activities in your places. I think these are activities that... Um, we as people enjoy, right? As people, we enjoy to have activity, extracurricular activities, okay? So activities to keep your employees happy. One of those, a ver, ¿cuáles son las cuatro actividades que vimos? Number one. Yoga class. Number two. Number two, ¿Qué significa eso? A ver, guess who? Exactly. Adivine quién. Exactly. Okay, now let's read for ourselves. Okay, let's read by ourselves and let's see. 
These are the activities to keep your employees happy. Number one, uh, someone is having trouble with the internet. Maybe he's unable to log in, but I saw that he was able to do it. Uh, let's see. Alguien me identifica quién tiene el problema eh, de internet. Yo, teacher, me salí de la clase y estaba cargando. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, thank you for <laughs> letting us know. Okay, so let's read. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Okay. Ahí hay un audio que estamos oyendo lo que sucede en esa casa, porfa. Eh, tengamos el cuidado para no interrumpir, por favor. Okay, now, who wants to read number one? ¿Quién quiere leer el número uno? El número dos Hi. vamos a decir por nombre, okay? Lise? Is that Lise? Yes. Okay, go ahead, please. Organize your class. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate. Underestimate? Underestimate. Under, underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude on occult. Yoga can help achieve Alleviate, alleviate. Alleviate street. Stress. Calm the mind. Stress, mm -hmm. calm the mind. Sorry, I can see. Can't you see very well? No, okay, no. Which one? Calm, uh, stress. Uh, stress, uh-huh. I think, I think, I think say street. Ah, calm okay. the yeah. calm the mind, release ten, tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Thank you very much, Lisette. Thank you. Thank okay, you. then what are the um benefits of doing or having yoga classes? What are the benefits? Alleviate the stress. Mm -hmm. Call the mind. Release. 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 Tension. And improve brain. Improve brain function. Function. Uh -huh. And leave more. Okay, thank you very much. Carla, Janet, please read number two. Uh, celebrity birthday. To don't do how to rally on business game. To boss morals. Moral. Moral. <laughs> Simply ask no day special occasion can how I be impact it show uh, your team that you care about them as people. Not just as employee, get employees, employees, get everyone to sing a car, to sign a car. Sign a car. How case once a month or simply buy them around of coffee each time some someone is your has a birthday. 
Ok, very good, Carla Janet. Ahora, lo voy a leer yo y después pido a otra persona que también me lea el número dos, ok? okay. Number two, celebrate birthdays. You don't just have to rely on business games to boost morale. Simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. It shows your team that you are that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sign a card, have cake once a month, or simply buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay, please, Jessica, read number two. Okay, celebrate birthday. You don't just have to rely on business case, games to boost moral, simple acknowledge, acknowledging. Acknowledging special occasions can, can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, not just as employees. Get everyone to sing a car, have to sign, cake to, to sign, sign a car, to sign a car, have cake once a month, or simple buy them a round of coffees each time someone in your team has a birthday. Okay, I guess simply, simply, simply. Mm -hmm. okay. simply. ¿Qué quiere decir simplemente? No decimos simply. Ok, no decimos simple, decimos simply, simply, simply. Ok, now let's read number three, painful. Give your employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of painful. Simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff morale. Watch out though, as the boss, you're going to be a prime target, okay? A ver, Marielos, please read number three. You're muted. Marielos, open your mic, please. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, inicio o oh, number oh. three. Yes. Okay. Paintball. Uh, give your employees an opportunity to lift up some steam, steam by organic. Organizing, As organizing a day of payball. Simply getting up on the office can work wardens for staff moral. Watch of, ¿cómo se pronuncia? So, so. so those. As the box. You are going to be a um, prime target. Thank you very much, Marielos. Now let's read number four. Guess who? Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood photo of themselves and put them all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy, light-hearted fun that will definitely help lift spirits while offering plenty of humor along the way. It is Janet, please read number four. Okay. Get who at 
everyone to bring a thrill to childhood. 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 Hot and ten themselves 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 and put themselves mm -hmm. themselves okay and put a thing or up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guesses forward on age one, it's B of A. Easy. Light. It's easy. a bit of easy. It is a bit of easy. Light air fun that will defini definitely definitely her lip a spirit spirits a spirit will while opening while, while offering while offering plenty of, of humor along the way okay do you have any question about the vocabulary after the reading Questions? Okay, then. Uh, tell me. I'm sorry. The, um, the word uh, underestimate. Uh -huh. No le quite la estimación. Okay. Ah, okay. Thank uh -huh. you. Okay. No sobreestime sería. Uh -huh. mm, sí. No. Yeah, underestimate, que no lo estime, eh, que no le quite la estimación. Yeah. Okay, we are going to the breakout rooms. We have a comprehension activity in our manuals. O over there in page 34, you have it. Okay, let me share with you the activity right there. It is uh, right below the, right below the, right below the reading, you have the questions. You have to say true or false in this activity, okay? To, in order to do it, you have to read it again, okay, together in pairs. So we are going to the breakout rooms and you are going to complete saying true or false, okay? Please discuss your answers. ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a ir a hacer? Compañeritos. Eh, ¿Cómo responder las yes, preguntas, teacher? Si son falsos o verdaderos, lo que nos está diciendo ahí. Exactly. Can you say that in English? Okay. Answer uh -huh. the question. Excellent. Ajá. Um, uh -huh. mm. Saying true or false. True. Yes. Or false. Okay. So let's go there then. Bueno, lo voy a tirar así. Okay. No, vamos a permitirles que ustedes se vayan a la, a la sala que ustedes quieran irse. Okay. Ok, ahí va. Cada quien vaya hacia la sala que quiera ir. Ok.
Escojan la sala a la que se quieran ir. ¿Ok? No le hay a teacher, ¿a dónde se fue? No a mí no me parece nada, teacher. Vayan a ir donde está la sección de grupos. Vayan a donde está la sección de grupos. ¿Lo encontraron? ¿Calec lo halló? ¿Carla lo halló? ¿Carla y Enel? Me fui a Breakout. Ok. Ajá, en Spanish, sección de grupos. Bueno, ya me... Me salen salas, teacher, pero no sé. Usted escoja la que se quiere meter. Marque a la que usted quiere entrar. Ok. ¿Pudo, Julio? Sí. Ok. Levin. ¿Pudo, Cristian? ¿Encontró la opción? There you are. Sure. Hello, Cristian. Ah, sí, sí. Que a mí me dio la señal, no se movía nada, ¿no? No oh, nada okay. lo que dijeron. Oh, ok. Breakout rooms. Yeah. Ah, ok. Breakout, me yes. Partieron la imagen de True, hasta ahí ya no escuché nada. Ah, we are going to the breakout rooms and we have to do the comprehension activity. Levin, are you there? Mr. Levin? Hello, Levin. Acá dice que en release tension también. Pero la, la, la pregunta dice una, una afirmativa y una negativa. Entonces, sí. es Pero false. Como, 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 ah, es false, sí, porque aunque le esté diciendo que, ¿qué dijimos? Que reduce la tensión. Disminuye. Uh -huh. Disminuye, uh -huh. algo así. Ahí Pero a la vez le está diciendo que no. Uh -huh. Doesn't call the mind. Y en, el, en, el, en la lectura dice, call the mind and release tension. Uh -huh. O sea que sí, es false. Es false, es false. Number two, es false. Yo queriendo mover la pantalla aquí para bajar. <laughs> A la tercera. Number three. Based on...
Sí, los trabajadores pueden, los ¿Cómo? trabajadores pueden jugar pay, paintball adentro de la oficina. No. Mm. <risa> Pero yo creo que es falsa porque no pueden jugar sí. adentro. La otra sería Shai Hu Photos can Hello. Open. How are you doing? How's it going? Use your vocabulary. Okay. Remember, try to practice your vocabulary, your English vocabulary, wow. okay. as much as you can. Okay. Okay. Just another thing, you have René over there. René Armando, are you there? Dijo que estaba trabajando. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, no problem. He's nosotros. just listening, okay? Okay. Entonces, lo leemos. Vaya. La última... As everyone. Children, es como infancia, ¿verdad? Children. As everyone. Sería verdad. Y la calma. Ok. ¿Me entendió? Sí, 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 la entendí perfecto. La okay. on the writing special occasion are not important. ¿Dónde está? What's on you? Dice que pueden jugar en la oficina, uh -huh. pero en la lectura no dice eso. Dice... Ok, entonces, ¿qué dice Candy? ¿True o false? False. 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 Ok, click false también. Oh. False, sí. Ok, false. Oh. Number five. Bien. Number La pregunta. Hello, teacher. How's Hello, it going? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, you've got to say true or false. True or false. Say true. Digan true. True. True, eso, true. true. Y la true. otra palabra es false. 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 Oh, false. false. Okay. False. Yes, true or false. Go ahead. False. Or false. Continue, false. continue. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Vaya la candy, lea la number five. Right. Chai, what, what, what those can. Open employees. Childhood. What does John offer employees? Vamos a ver. Ah.
No se escucha, teacher. Es que yo estaba jugando char charades con ustedes. Era de adivinar. Ah, son bromas. It's just a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, what I'm going to do is, again, okay, it's to read. Okay, I will read number one. And then when you answer, please don't say only true or false. Tell me true because in the reading says this and this and that, okay? O sea, razónenme su respuesta, quiero decir. Uh, si ustedes dicen que la respuesta de número uno es true, tell me why and how you um, find out that answer, okay? For example, le, hagamos la número uno. Let's do number one. So, yoga has an important effect on the employees. Yoga has an important effect on employees. Okay, let's listen to Christian, please. What do you think, Christian? True or false? What did your group said, say? True. Okay, True. tell me why. ¿Cómo llegaron a esa respuesta en la lectura? ¿Dónde está? Where is in the reading? Uh -huh. Ayúdele su grupo con quien trabajó. Ajá. Sí, yo. <laughs> Ajá. Sí, no me organizo yoga class. Yoga classes, ajá. But it says uh, yoga sí. has an important effect on employees. ¿Cómo llegaron a esa conclusión que sí es verdad? Le dice que alivia el estrés y calma el. Ok, no say that in English, please, because. Because, because um, an allergy um, because it says yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, and program function and lift mood. What buzz wouldn't want those outcomes? Esta palabra outcomes, okay. Es como resultados, ¿verdad? Outcomes, beneficios, resultados o resultantes de realizar una acción. Entonces, what was wouldn't want those outcomes? Que um, entonces el, el, importa, el efecto importante, right? On employees. Ok. So, number two. Number two. Yoga releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Iliana. Tell us, is it true or is it false? Yoga has tension, false doesn't come in. It's true because in. Okay, thank you. In correct sense, in improv brand function. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One, one second, one second, because this showed up. Oh. I cannot move this thing out of here. I will stop sharing porque me tapa todo. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Solo es un, una falla de origen. <laughs> okay, let's, 
Let's say, guys, is it true or is it false? Help Ileana, help Ileana, please. Is it true or is it false number two? False. False. Okay, false. it's false. Why? How you false. say that? Why do you say it, that? Charles in the paragraph yeah. say, uh, you can move, please. Yes, here we go. In the paragraph say, if Jared can if help Olivia Fred, call the mind. Right. And in the sentence is in negative. Aha, uh -huh, correct. Here, here it is, right? Here was the skin of fruit, right? <laughs> Podríamos decir como decimos en español, pero en realidad no existe, right? In English, but la cascarita, right? It doesn't come to mind. El negativo era la cascarita. Thank you very much, uh, Lisa. Thank you very much, Ileana. Number three, based on the reading, special locations are not important. What do you think, Vilma? Uh, I think it's if false. Okay, because, why? Because the, I, how do you say lectura? In the reading, reading. The reading is important. Okay, me puede mostrar, can you show me where in the, in the reading you find out that? ¿A dónde lo encontró eso en la lectura? I don't, don't, no. Don't remember. It's in, in, it's in, in the same, in, in the okay. paragraph. The, okay. Way. Okay. Number two, right? Celebrate birthdays. Uh huh. Where it says, uh, simply acknowledging special occasions can have a big impact. So, Eso me da a mí la, la, a dar, llegar a la conclusión que las ocasiones especiales, they are really important, right? Okay, so thank you very much, Vilma. Number okay. four, workers can play paintball inside the office. Alexandra, what do you think? Is it true or false? Uh, it's false. Because in the reading says that that the um, the child who photo uh, can offer in painting of humor. Okay, uh, you mixed two points. Okay, mezcló ahí los dos puntos. Okay, number four is asking about painful. Okay. En la número cuatro está hablando de paintball. And you said it's false. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's go to paintball. Okay. Um, it's false because uh, because says that uh, paintball uh, is simple getting out of the office. Okay, good. It's impossible to play paintball in the office, right? It will be a mess. <laughs> Sería un relajo ahí, ¿verdad? Uh, arruinaríamos todo. So number five, childhood photos can offend employees. Childhood photos can offend employees. Why do you think, guys? Is it false or is it true, Julio? Is, is false. Okay, false, why? Um, because uh, uh, everyone to buy until who for fought. Okay, you, you request that to everyone, but maybe uh, you allow People who doesn't want to participate, they don't take their photos, right? I think so, that's why. Okay, thank you very much, Julio. Thank you, thank you. So guys, we are going to, meaning, 
Tengo el online game, pero sí nos va a llevar bastante tiempo, entonces lo vamos a hacer al final. Ok, el online game es eh, un quiz para completar WH questions. Eh, lastimosamente no se los puedo poner después, fuera de la clase porque eh, se necesita que eh, yo les dé el código y se genere, ¿verdad? Entonces voy a intentar buscarlo como tarea, pero eh, si podemos lo hacemos otro ratito, ¿ok? Vamos a continuar hacia el tema principal del día de hoy. Let's go to the main topic. The main topic. What was the main topic for tonight? ¿Cuál era el tópico para ahora? El tema para hoy. You remember? Uh -huh. It's the first topic. Of Why is to report a problem? Excellent. Why report a problem? Excellent. Ways to report a problem. Okay. Ways to report a problem. So let's start with one second with a question. Okay, we are starting with the question. The question is, do you ever, do you ever call tech support? Do you ever call tech support? Do you ever call tech support? Ustedes llaman alguna vez a... Eh, soporte técnico. Do you ever call tech support? Informática. Yes. Okay. Hello, Reinaldo. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Okay. So, yeah. when do you call tech support, guys? When do you call tech support? When do you do it? Mm. I have a problem. And okay. you collapse uh, system. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to write the answer here after listening to you saying it again. Do you ever call tech support? And you said? Yes. I am uh, child support and you closed my session. They, they, uh, they closed your, uh, your session or when uh, you were unable to log in, for example, to your session. Okay. My Veamos. session. Ok, ok, Iris Marina. Lea, veamos cómo se responde esta pregunta primera. Esta es básica. Do you ever call tech support? Yes, I do. do. I do. Ok. Yes, I do. When do you do it? Ok. When do you do it? Lo vamos a poner. Uh, creo que fue Iris Janet that says when I have a problem. Okay, it is Marina said when uh, the session closed. Uh, and also say another collapsed system. Yes. I'm sorry, system. Okay, that's what you said, right? Okay, when do you call tech support? Carla Raquel, do you do you call tech support? Carla Raquel? Tengo un poquito de dudas. <laughs> okay. ¿Alguna vez usted llama a, a soporte técnico? Do you ever call tech support? No. 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 Okay. Okay. What kind of problems do you think, guys? This question is for everybody. What kind of problems do you think that uh, tech support can solve? What problems do you think that cold, I mean, that tech support can solve? ¿Cuáles son los problemas que tech support puede resolver? 
Do you have any For idea? Example, when you miss the card. When you miss your card, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. You lost it, or maybe you forget. You forgot. Yes, yes. Okay, you forgot about it. Okay, yes, Lisa, it's true. It's true. They can help you out. But uh, there, but that problem can be solved by the supervisor. By the supervisor, maybe giving you a, a, a temporary code or using his code or her code, or whatever, right? Okay, but let's think about what is tech support in charge of? Okay, what is tech support? Vamos a ver, todos van a ir a Google, ok, buscando en Google y van a ver, van a encontrar cómo se llama Tech Support. Van a poner, pongan ustedes ahí, uh, Tech Support Problems, ok, Tech Support Problems. Yes, but what I want you to see is what is the department in charge of solving them, okay? Vamos a ver. ¿Qué encontró eh, Iris Yanet? Léanos ahí. Así, lo primero que, que encontró. Here are 10 of the most um, Common. Uh -huh. Estoy leyendo como el encabezado, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Moscano y Ius, algo así. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ius. Issues. Within issues. People. Ajá, ajá, issues. Ajá. Uh -huh. Within people room in Into. In? Uh, into. Así, se, así como está escrito, lo estoy leyendo. Into, into, into like into. this. Uh -huh. Into, ajá, uh -huh, ok. Into, eh, en, quiere dice. decir. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, thank you, thank you, it is, um, it is Janet. Now, okay. I, I want you okay. to write, uh, no, I said tech support problems, right? Did I say tech support problems? Y eso escribieron, tech support problems. Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. You said it is in it 10 most common issues. Okay. 10 most common issues. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué encontró um, Vilma? ¿Qué encontró usted? What did you find out? For, for Así al, in, al, al principio. Yes. Forgotten password. Okay, good. Uh huh. Slow, slow performance. Slow mm -hmm. performance. Uh, slow performance. Uh huh. Overheating, hearing, overheating. Overheating. Heating. Printer problems. Okay. Slow internet Slow. connection. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only. Okay, thank you very much, Vilma. Thank you very much, Tell me You said something too. So, Jessica, what did you find out? Accidentally delete important mm -hmm. files. Accidentally, right? Accidentally. Mm -hmm. Delete it. Uh -huh. Important files. Okay, these are um, common, right? Common issues to call tech support. Uh, good, good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Levin. I'm Levin. I'm sorry, I was working. Oh, I got yes. to connect to my house. Okay, go ahead. We are waiting for you, you, okay? Go thank ahead. You, thank you. So guys, uh, tech support is a department, okay? Tech support 
is a department in the company, okay? It has functions, it has responsibilities, it has uh, roles to do in the company, right? But tech support is also called IT department, okay? Este, el departamento de soporte técnico también se conoce como el departamento de información y tecnología, okay? So IT department, IT department. En algunos, algunas compañías ustedes van a escuchar que dicen call IT or call tech or call tech support. ¿Vieron? Ahí ya van tres nombres. Call IT, call tech support or call tech, solo tech, ¿verdad? Al técnico, right? Tech. Mm -hmm. So guys, uh, there are three, three ways that, you, uh, that people refer to this department. IT department, tech support department, or just call the tech, right? Call tech. There are some issues that, um, is in their hands to solve them, right? Hay muchas, muchos problemas que está en las manos de ellos resolverlo, ¿sí? Pero hay muchos otros problemas que no necesariamente ellos son los responsables, ¿verdad? Sino que somos los responsables nosotros de que se haya dado el problema y probablemente nosotros podemos resolverlo, ¿sí? Sin necesidad de llamar a Tech Support. Entonces, veamos acá eh, que existen preguntas muy importantes exist y en la pregunta más importante cuando le pregunta el técnico a usted, what is the problem, okay, what is the problem, tenemos que aprender a definir a explicar, así como en español le gustaría a usted que le explicaran al punto, ¿verdad? No andar, ay, es que, y ya hizo esto, y ya hizo el otro, ¿verdad? Cosas que pudo haber resuelto que en vez de, de haber llamado a, te, a soporte técnico. Entonces, vamos a ver acá, déjenme stop sharing aquí. Vamos a ver una pequeña conversacioncita que tienen de, que viene en nuestro manual, ¿ok? Y nos demuestra como la manera básica, ¿ok? Esta es la manera más básica y les va a servir toda la vida. Siempre va a ser así para poder hablar por teléfono, ¿ok? Y reportar un problema. Nosotros no solamente reportamos problemas de tech support, ¿verdad? Pueden haber problemas de muchas otras áreas, ¿verdad? Un problema a accounting, un problema a qué sé yo, al departamento de impresión, si es que hay un departamento de impresión, o a communications, or a public relations, or maybe to the general manager, or the general management, maybe we have problems with marketing, ¿ok? Así que lo que vamos a aprender ahorita no es solamente para tech support, ¿ok? Este es el ejemplo que estamos poniendo para que se comprenda más eh, gráfico, ¿ok? Pero esto ustedes lo pueden aplicar en todos los campos al momento de reportar un problema. Incluso puede ser un problema que usted puede reportar a la policía, por ejemplo, o usted llama a una emergencia hospital, usted inmediatamente usa este vocabulario que vamos a aprender el día de hoy, ¿ok? So, let me share the screen with you and let me show you in on page 39, okay, page 39 in your manuals. There you have two guys are talking. And Peter and Robert, okay, Peter and Robert are talking. This Joan is... Uh, este que aparece aquí como Joan, no, nada que ver, ¿ok? Es un aparecido, así que el que sigue ahí es Peter, ¿ok? So, let's read it. Leamos cómo se usa este vocabulario, ¿ok? Lo vamos a ver en acción antes de definir cada parte, ¿ok? Peter, 
Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions, okay? Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay. Vamos a ver acá. Lo que está en negritas. This in bold. It says, I'd like, like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Ahora, si lo decimos fluido sería, I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Ok, ahí debemos tener un cuidado a la hora de pronunciarlo. Muy importante porque nosotros no tenemos el mismo sonido de la letra D como en inglés. No tenemos el mismo sonido, ok. Veamos esto. I'd, miren, I'd, ajá, viene de esto, ok. I'd viene de esto. Ok. I'd viene de I would. Would. I'd. I would. Ok. I'd. I would. Otra vez. I'd. I would. I would. Este es I'd. 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 And this is I would. I would. Okay, esta que vemos acá, que va acompañando en esta eh, oración, la letra D, esto es lo más importante ahorita, la pronunciación de esa letra. En español, nosotros pronunciamos la letra D aquí, mire. digan dedo. Dedo. Digan dedo. otra vez eh, y muestren dedo. así en la dedo. cámara cómo lo dicen. Dedo. 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 ¿Otra vez? Dedo. 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 Ah, dedo. Estamos aprendiendo a pronunciar español y ya sabemos. No, solo quiero que se fijen cómo ponen la lengua cuando dicen la letra D. A ver, digamos, dedo. Sí. Dedo. Dedo. Sí. Dedo. Ajá. Sacamos la lengua. Sacamos la lengua y la ponemos entre los dientes. Mm, así, B, dedo. dedo. ¿Sí? Bien, me voy a salir de acá para poder verlos a todos al mismo tiempo. Ok, miren. Normal decimos así, B, B. Pero obviamente no cerramos los labios, sino que abrimos, ¿verdad? D, D, D. Así decimos en español. Y eso nos dificulta para que nosotros podamos pronunciar correctamente esto, esto tiene que oírse, si no se entiende algo totalmente diferente. ¿Y yogur? No. Cuando nosotros decimos, por ejemplo, I'd, I'd, nuestra lengua, de, 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 eh, para decir la letra D en inglés, nuestra lengua pega arriba en el paladar, atrás de los dientes. Vamos a hacer la prueba. I'd, 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 I'd la lengua up. I'd. To the palate and I'd. 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 I'd.
Drink Ahora coffee. sí ya le pusieron mente, hoy ya no lo dijeron igual. Perfecto. This I is perfect. Like... Hey guys, like we did it. Like... Si lo decimos like... sin esa D, sin ese sonido, like... nos suena como que estamos diciendo me gusta reportar problemas. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Si yo no le pongo esa D, ¿ok? Yeah. Pero si yo le pongo esa D, estoy diciendo quiero reportar un problema. Vea que hay una gran diferencia con esa letra D en el significado. Entonces tenemos que ponerle énfasis. I'd I like to report a problem. But eso viene de I would. Eso viene de I would. Ahora voy a volver a compartir. That comes out from would. Okay. I'd like. Y en completo sería, I would like, ¿ok? I would like sería, I'd like. Después de este like, siempre van a ver ustedes to. Cuando va, I would like to. Esa frase, I would like to, significa I want. It means I want, ¿ok? So, it is I want. Pero ¿cuál es entonces la diferencia? Ah, bueno, si ya tenemos I want, ¿para qué voy a usar I would like to? Right? I would like to is a very formal and polite way of speaking. Okay? Es un lenguaje muy amable. Es un lenguaje muy formal, muy apto para nuestro entorno de trabajo cuando las relaciones son formales, ¿ok? Son formales. I want es una forma directa. Y hasta donde estábamos antes de conocer I would like to, estaba correcto que me dijeran, teacher, I, I want to do this. I want to read. I want to, uh, <clears throat> to write. I want to know, ¿ok? Pero ahora que ya sabemos, I would like to, para decir I want, entonces vamos a empezar a usarlo para que en relaciones formales y de mucho respeto y muy amables, como por ejemplo, a mí me gustaría que si uh, una, uh, alguien me está queriendo conquistar, que no llegue, que me diga I want. Yo quiero que llegue y me diga I would like to. Así de lindo se oye I would like to, ¿ok? Así es impacto causa decir I would like to y la acción. Bien, dicho eso, vamos a ver entonces que este es un lenguaje que se usa <coughs> en el teléfono, on the phone. Where else can we find this language? ¿A dónde más podemos usar esto? Ah, en emails, right? formal emails, formal emails. Formal messages, ok, formal messages. Veamos, what are the ways that you communicate into the company? What are the ways that you use in your companies to communicate? Vamos a ver. What are the ways? ¿Cuáles son las maneras en que ustedes se comunican dentro de la compañía? Do you use the phone? The messenger. Okay, by messenger. Uh huh. To WhatsApp. By WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, I am talk person. Okay, person to person. Mm hmm. Person to person. Okay, there are different, different media, okay, that we, that we can use to communicate in the company. Well, hay muchas formas, uh, muchos canales o vías de comunicación, no, canales de comunicación en nuestras compañías, ¿verdad? Usualmente no solo es el teléfono ahora. Ahora si hacemos una llamada, cuesta más tiempo y cuesta más dinero, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué utilizamos? Formal messages, formal emails. Usualmente, they 
social networks like WhatsApp, like Twitter, or um, a hangouts of uh, this thing of Google, for example, and also video llamadas, right? Video llamadas or in meetings like in Zoom or uh, you have chats. Um, ¿Cómo se llaman estos? Se llaman eh, como una red interna, ¿verdad? De comunicación también. Okay. Uh, the, uh, okay, that one was the intranet. Okay. We have internet and we have intranet, right? So we have different ways to communicate. Pero esta es la manera que usted va a utilizar en cualquiera de esas cuando la relación con la persona que usted va a o la, va a hacer el contacto es formal, ¿ok? Y, y se requiere mucho respeto. Se requiere ese nivel, ¿verdad? De profesional, ¿ok? So we say, I would like to, I'd like to, aquí me faltó el to, okay. I'd like to, miren, I'd like to report a problem. Esta frasecita, grábensela, porque les va a servir en todos los ámbitos. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to um, report, ese es el otro detalle que vamos a ver en la siguiente página, eh, cómo llamamos a los problemas, ok, de acuerdo al grado. Pero bien. I'd like to report a problem. Report a problem. Exactly. I'd like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Si lo decimos completo sería, I would like to report a problem. Una de las cosas es que cuando lo lean, no lo lean would or would or gul. No. Es would. Would. Vamos a ver todos. Would. 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 Good. Good. Would. No es una T, es una D como dijimos. Ponemos la lengua atrás de los dientes pegado al paladar. Would. 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 I would like to report a problem. I'd like to report a problem. Okay. 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 Esta es la frase para reportar, para decir que quiero reportar un problema. Pero bien, como estamos hablando que es en el teléfono, ok, it's on the phone, let's read what Peter says. Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Ok, good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Estamos viendo que esta es una manera genérica y básica para contestar el teléfono. To answer the phone, you can use this way. Esta es la manera de contestar el teléfono. ¿Ok? Una forma general es good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever you want to say. ¿Ok? Only three. Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. ¿Ok? This is Peter. Ah, fijémonos que aquí no decimos I am Peter, ¿verdad? No dice I am Peter. Dice, this is Peter. Ok. Vamos a ver entonces, por ejemplo, si yo contesto el teléfono, I will say, this is Carmen from Tech Support. How can I help you? Ok. Podríamos decir I am pero lo general y lo correcto es decir, this is, ¿ok? This is, this is. Vamos a ver. Vamos a verlo Teacher. otra vez. Uh -huh. Tell me. Es porque no estamos de frente con la persona. ¿o ¿Por qué se usa this is? No, es que mire, fíjese que eso también es bien bonito conocerlo. This para una persona no se entiende como en español, vea. En español, si alguien le dice este, ¡ja! se siente ofendido. Uy, me dijo este, esta. No, en English, no. En English, this is, es el demostrativo para todo. 
Okay. Oh. Es demostrativo para todo y no sé si la gente no se ofende si le dicen this. Es, es, es más, para presentar a alguien, una tercera persona, no decimos he es. We don't say he is. We say this is my friend. Ok. Entonces, aquí en español diríamos, mira, este, este es mi amigo. Uf, este, qué bárbaro, me está diciendo este. No, en inglés no. In English doesn't sound like that. Bien. Oh, this is... ¿Sí se comprende? Thank you. Okay. Thanks, There you go. So, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Okay, si lo digo con mi nombre. Good morning. This is Carmen from Tech Support. How can I help you? Vamos a ver todos haciendo esta pregunta primero. Voy a empezar por la pregunta porque es un, un poquito más difícil de pronunciar. A ver todos, pero quiero oírlos todos aunque se oiga como mercado. Abran sus micrófonos. Please open your mics. Y digamos, how can I help you? 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 Veamos cuál es el tip que le va a dar la teacher. El tip para decir esta palabra es open your mouth. Ok. Ábranla. ¿Cómo? Cuando empiezan, no digamos ho. Y ahí ya la regamos porque al final ya no lo vamos a destrabar. Ok. Vamos a abrir how. Ok. How, how can I help how, you? Abramos. How can I help you? Okay. You see, oh, can I, I can you? listen to you very well. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Yay. You did it, guys. How can I help you? Great. How, how. Ok. How can I help you? 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 Good. Por ahí me sonó ya una hasta con. How can I help you? Ajá, hasta con el estilo elegante, oh, ¿verdad? Cool. De con, contestar. How can I help you? Right? Oh, good. <laughs> yes. How can I help you? How good. Can I help you? <laughs> how can I help you? Excellent. Okay. How can how can how can how can how can I help you? Great. How can how can how can you? I help you. I'll help you. Excellent. Help you. Now, let's try with our names. Ahora, uh, please turn off your mics, okay? Uh, and say this with your name, your own name, okay? Good morning. This is Carmen from Tech Support. How can I help you? Okay? Everybody, please try. Y voy a ir preguntando a cada uno que lo diga, okay? Okay, let's start with Carol. Carol Yvette, please say this with your name. <clears throat> Carol Yvette. Okay, let's start with Marta Lidia. Okay. How can I help you? Bye. Lo va a decir completo con su nombre. Okay. Ah, oh, perfect. Good morning. This is Marta from Tech Support. How can I help you? Thank you very much. Bye. Ahora le vamos a ir poniendo la entonación de que están contestando el teléfono así bien elegantemente. Vamos a ver, Iris Marina. Good night. This is Iris, Foundation Sport. How can I help you? Le van a decir, ya me está mandando a dormir because you said good night. <laughs> you can say good evening, okay? Good evening okay. es como decir hello. Good night es como decir bye, 
Okay. okay. There you go. Okay. Try again, it is, please. Try again. Continue. No, otra vez, again. Oh. Okay. Good evening. This is Iris from Tesh Support. How can I help you? Thank you. Thank you very much. But okay. tech, para todos, is tech. Con C, tech. We don't say tech. We say tech. Okay? Tech. Yes. Kalek, please, your turn. Tech. Uh, good morning. This is Kalek from Tech Support. I can help you. Good, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's listen to Vilma. Good afternoon. This is Vilma from Tech Support. How can I help you? Great, excellent. Very good, Vilma. Me encantó el, el tono seguro, okay? That was very good, okay. I'm going to stop sharing this, uh, this moment, okay? And just let me go to the, the next part here, okay? Because this is very important. Esas dos cosas son muy importantes. ¿Cómo contesto el teléfono, verdad? Y cómo eh, yo reporto el problema, okay? Okay, here we have the conversation again, okay? The conversation again, just to see what will be the answer, okay? What will be the answer to, or the reaction to this request, okay? Because this is a request. Cuando nosotros decimos, I'd like to report a problem, es un request, es una solicitud, ¿verdad? Usted está expresando que usted quiere reportar el problema. Ese es su deseo, ¿ok? So, let's see what's the reaction, ¿ok? The reaction. So, it says, what is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Esta preguntita, what is it, le sirve para todos los campos, ámbitos y todo. What is it, lo que significa es, ¿qué sucede o qué pasa? ¿O qué ¿Cuál es? En este caso, el problema, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad es como, ¿qué sucede? Okay. What is it, Robert? What is it? A ver, todos diciendo, what is it? 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 What is it, Robert? What is it? 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 But ese es el detalle. Levin lo dice linking the word. Él lo, lo está diciendo uniendo la T. Uh, eso se llama linking words en la pronunciación. Linking quiere decir uniendo. Ok. Esta T tiene un sonido suave. Ok. Tiene un sonido suave. Entonces sería what is it? What is it? En una forma rápida. What is it? 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 Eso sería una forma larga. Pero ahorita, yo en mi forma y en mi, en mi, ¿qué podría decir? <laughs> en mi metodología. You, you can, uh -huh. excuse me. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can read very slowly the first one. After that, you can, you can read faster. In this case, we are learning reading, reading, we are learning the vocabulary, we are knowing the sentence too. Correct. We are speak a lot and, and we can we can do that after after the the speak slowly. We yes. can speak faster after after the speak slowly. Yeah. Correct. I'm, I'm 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 saying I'm saying that sentence 
I'm saying don't say this, the, this way because I saw the video on YouTube and I learned in a different, a different way to the pronunciation of sentences and meaning. Good. And that's mm -hmm. very good, Levin. That's very good. I was just explaining because they were asking to me, uh, what's the correct way to say it? what it or what is that's what i did this explanation okay what i, I gave yeah. this explanation pero eh, según mi metodología la misma eh, idea como dice levin verdad eh, primero aprendemos el, eh, la pronunciación de palabra por palabra y luego ya cuando van avanzando ustedes lo van a ir soltando verdad entonces lo que en lo que tienen que fijarse en que es que no van a decir it is, la T primero y después la S. Mm -mm. Vamos a decir is it. ¿Por qué? Porque es una pregunta. Si ustedes ponen en su pronunciación el orden incorrecto, ponen it primero, ya no es una pregunta. ¿Ok? Ya es una afirmación. Entonces, What is it? A ver todos, what is it? What is it? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? What is it? Excellent, excellent. What is it? What is it? Ok, ahora veamos cuál es la respuesta de Robert. Ok. ¿Qué significará eso? A ver. ¿Qué significa eso? What does sim, sim? Parece, parecer. Mi. Uh -huh. Como una manera, no me parece. No me parece que estés trabajando, no sé, algo así. Mm, no, 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 not you. Uh, the thing is, they, uh, they are talking about the computer, okay? They are talking about the computer. I, I so think... that... The computer is not working. The ah, computer is not the working. Computer, the computer is, is, is broken. No, it and says, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Okay? And then the reaction is, it doesn't seem to work. Es que fíjate que parece que no funciona. Ajá, algo así. Pero como en una forma, en un lenguaje formal, Mire, al parecer no funciona, ¿ok? Al parecer. It doesn't, no, ¿ok? Seem to work. Sim, aparentemente, right? Yeah. It doesn't seem to work. Este, it doesn't seem. Ajá. It doesn't seem. El afirmativo de eso es it seems, ¿ok? Y nos va a servir conocer las dos. It seems. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos correctos ahí? Digamos que sí funciona, ¿verdad? No, nos está, no estamos hablando del problema del, de, de la computadora en este momento, sino que vamos a decir, it seems to work. Parece que funciona. ¿Ok? It seems to work. Sería el contrario de it doesn't seem to work. ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende, verdad? Bien. Yes. Ok. La siguiente parte es, I see, let me ask you some questions. Y hay puntos suspensivos ahí, ¿verdad? Bien. Vamos a, a practicar un poquito la conversación. Ok. La vamos a ver de... A ver, Kalek and Ileana, please. Kalek is Robert and Ileana is Peter. Okay. Pónganle sus nombres, okay? Role play with your own names. Yo soy Peter. Yes. Ah, okay. okay. With your Kalek. own name. Okay. Good evening. This is Ileana from Team Support. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Ileana. This is uh, Khaled. I am calling from the Human Re 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 
department. It like to report a problem with my computer. Computer. I'd like. Computer. Ese, ese le voy a hacer emphasis. I'd like. I'd, I'd like to report a problem with my computer. Sí. What is it, Robert? Kalek. Ay, <laughs> what is this, Caleb? It doesn't seem, seem to work. I, I see. Let, let me ask you some question. Okay, okay, very good. Ya escuchamos a Caleb y a Ileana. Vamos a ir y ver entonces en una forma más específica un poquito de vocabulario, some vocabulary, okay? These, these are <clears throat> the sentences that we have to structure to express what I want or what I have, okay? For example, I would like to report a problem, see, problem, then, otra. Puede, en vez de decir a problem, usted puede decir, I would like to report an issue. I would like to report an issue. Ah, hay otra palabra para referirse a un problema, ¿verdad? Let's read the next one. I have traveled with, I have traveled with my computer. <coughs> with my cell phone, with my video cam, with my microphone, with my headset, okay? I have trouble with the connection. I have trouble with the router, okay? So trouble, you see here, trouble is another way to say problem, okay? ¿Qué debemos fijarnos? Que gramaticalmente, trouble no se puede contar. It's uncountable. Por lo tanto, no usamos a trouble, two troubles, three troubles. It doesn't, it's not possible. It doesn't exist. Pero issue sí es contable. Entonces, tenemos que poner an issue, an issue. ¿Por qué an? Porque comienza con una vocal, ¿verdad? Si comenzara con consonantes, solo dijéramos a. Pero como comienza con vocal, vamos a decir an issue. Okay. I can say two issues, three issues, four issues. Yes, I can count that. Esta es otra manera de expresar que usted tiene un problema. I have a problem. I have a problem. Okay. Estas cuatro oraciones podemos utilizar para expresar cuando estamos reportando un problema. Okay. I would like to report a problem. I would like to report an issue. I have trouble with, and I have a problem, okay? Ahora, veamos acá en esta otra slide para recordar lo que acabo de decir y quede fijado. Would like to, esa es la figura gramatical que estamos viendo. Would like to, it equals to say in a polite way, I want, okay? This is a polite way to say I want, expressing my wishes, okay? A polite way to say I want, would like to. I would like to, okay? Ahora, podríamos decir que podemos usar would like to para she, para he, para it, para we y they. Yes, of course. Y cuando se conjuga, no cambia. Okay? It doesn't change. I would like to report a problem. Okay? Pero también podemos decir she would like to report a problem. Okay? Podremos decir we would like to report a problem. 
Ok. También podemos decir they would like to report a problem. Es decir que no cambia. Ok. No cambia. Y cuando ponemos el verbo después de to, tampoco lleva S, miren. Tampoco lleva S en she, tampoco lleva S en he, ¿verdad? Y no necesitamos ing, ¿ok? Aquí, ¿qué es lo que usamos? Este to que viene, I would like to report, to write, to read, to make, to do, ¿ok? Vamos a usar, I would like to report a problem, ¿ok? Bien. Vamos al siguiente entonces. Siguiente slide. Hay problemas que pues no son, ¿verdad? De, de tech support. ¿Ya? Pero, ¿cómo preguntamos? ¿Cómo le preguntamos cuál es el problema? ¿Ok? La más común y más fácil y más cortita es, what is it? ¿Ok? What is it? What is the problem? Sería la siguiente, ¿verdad? Como en gradita. ¿verdad? What is the problem? What seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? Ok. What seems to be the problem es una forma más indirecta de quitarle la responsabilidad, ¿verdad? A la persona de que por la causa de él esté pasando el problema. Ok. What seems to be the problem? But what is the problem is very direct. Direct. Go ahead, Levin, tell me. Uh, teacher, uh, can I say something? <laughs> yes, please. Go ahead. Uh, I was thinking about the, the, the structure of the, the sentence mm -hmm. with would. Uh, can I say, what would you, what would, what would you report, for example? What would you report? It, it does good that sentence. What? Ahí tendríamos que usar completa la frase. Uh -huh. What would, would you like? You like, uh -huh. okay. What to would report. you like to report? Excellent. Uh -huh. Excellent, Levin. Very good observation. And yes, you can use that one too. And it's very polite. Okay. Uh, okay. Es todavía mucho más respetuoso, más bonito que le digan a uno. What would you like to report? Okay. Okay. There you go. Excellent. Okay, vamos a ver entonces the next one. Okay. Here we have. Cuando me preguntan, what is the problem? What would you like to report? Okay, or uh, what is it? Then I can answer like this. I'd like to report a problem with the new software. It doesn't play the video, okay? Aquí estoy expresando un problema. ¿Cuál es el problema? The new software. Pero ¿cuál es el problema con el nuevo software? It doesn't play the video. Ay, no, no, no me deja ver el video. No, no muestra corre el video. video. No corre el video. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'd like to report a problem. Veámoslo ya estructurado acá. Esta es la manera de reportar un problema. Y lo mejor es que no me pregunten what is the problem. Eso es lo, lo mejor. Lo mejor es que de una sola vez yo le diga al que me está contestando. I'd like to report a problem. Digo el problema y digo lo que está pasando. ¿Qué es esto? This is a description, okay, of the problem. Vamos a ver entonces. Can you read this, Reinaldo, please? Reinaldo, read this structure. Um, I like to report a problem while new software, it doesn't play the video. Okay, great. Thank you. Ahora veamos otra forma, otra oración que nos va a ayudar para describir el problema, okay? To express what the problem is. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. Vamos a ver. Can you read this, please, Delmi? Delmi, are you there? Yes, yes. 
Okay, please. Uh, I repeat, please, teacher. Only read. I have a problem. Um, I am, no, I'm unable to log in. Okay, I have a problem. I'm unable to log in. I'm unable to log in. I have a problem. I am unable to log in. Uh -huh. Esto está eh, dando la idea que usted no puede loguearse, ¿verdad? No puede loguearse. I'm unable to log in. Ok. Veamos log... otro. Let's see. The, uh, let's look at this other one. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. Lo estoy diciendo así bien pronunciado, ok. Pero ya así más fluido sería. I'd like to report a problem. I can't print anything. Ok. I can't print anything. Veamos entonces una listita. Here we have a list of common IT issues. Al principio, los envié a Google para que fueran y buscaran uh, tech support problems, ¿verdad? Entonces, estos también son comunes. I keep losing access to the wireless connection. Wireless connection, no decimos tan formalmente nosotros, decimos, I keep losing access to the Wi-Fi, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Solo tenemos un minutito, guys. Las voy a leer yo y las uh, vemos cada una mañana, ¿ok? The internet is running really slow. The internet is running really slow, ¿ok? Ustedes ahí practicando su pronunciación conmigo, with me, ¿ok? My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. My computer doesn't recognize the USB device. I deleted some important files. I deleted some important files. En este lo que quiero recalcar es que normalmente decimos erase para borrar, ¿verdad? Y se nos cruza esa porque es la que conocemos. Pero erase es lo que usted hace con un borrador. With an eraser. Pero delete es echar al cesto de la basura un file, ¿ok? De un archivo de su computadora, de cualquier tipo, sea programa, sea eh, de documento, de slide, de picture, uh, video, whatever, you deleted something, ¿ok? Deleted some important files. I'm unable to log in. I'm unable to log in. I got the dread. Tell me, Levy. Teacher, I, I don't under, I don't understand the the device, the the device or device. This? How can I pronounce that word? Device. 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 Device, device means uh, the el aparato. Yeah? Um, eh, ok, eh, el aparato, el, sí, aparato sería la, la, okay, la, yeah. la traducción, right, ok, ok, I got the dread blue screen of death, right, the whole computer, and you say it crashed, but no, nah, they have the solution, right, IT department has the solution, the file doesn't open, no les ha pasado eso muy seguido, es que no abre esta cosa, ¿ya? Yeah? The file doesn't open. The file doesn't open. My computer just shut down unexpectedly. My computer just shut down unexpectedly. Mi computadora se me apagó así de la nada, ¿ya? Yeah? Inesperadamente. My computer just shut down unexpectedly. I have no internet access. I have no internet access, ¿ok? En esta, no hay ningún problema si ustedes dicen I don't have, ¿ok? En esta última, no hay ningún problema si ustedes dicen I don't have internet access, ¿ok? 
La clase de hoy fue así más explicativa, ¿ok? El día de mañana tendremos los ejercicios de todo lo que vimos ahora, el vocabulario, cómo contestamos al teléfono, cómo decimos eh, que tenemos un problema, no, que nos podemos expresar por cualquier medio, ¿ok? Tell me, Levin. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. And the last, the, the last question, the last sentence is, is my computer just sh shut down unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. can, can I say my computer turn it off unexpectedly? Turn off or turn uh -huh. on? Uh -huh. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Turned off? Oh, yes, you can say that, but the computer usually shuts down. O sea, se cierra, ¿ok? Uh, normalmente no decimos que se apaga. Se cerró, decimos, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, there you go. Uh -huh. Ok, guys, it's 10.02, so now we are off the clock. And tomorrow we continue with this. And uh, today is Kalek's turn. So please do your homework, guys. Please do your homework. Eh, quiero felicitar. Algunos se han adelantado, lo han hecho excelentemente. Eh, también quiero felicitar eh, a los que han hecho el esfuerzo extrahumano, ¿verdad? De um, repetir para poder ganar mejor calificación. Los felicito. Así que continuemos así. ¿Verdad? Gracias a todos por trabajar en la plataforma. Ok. Then... Did, you, did you review my, my homework? I completed it. Yes, I did. I saw everything that you did. You completed everything. Oh my God. You did a very good job. Thank you, Levin. Thank Levin. You, teacher. Thank you, Levin. The important thing here is that you to learn. Ok. So, have a good night, everyone, and see you tomorrow. Have a good night, teacher. Take care. Good evening, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you. Good night. Good night. Have a good rest. Hello, Rene Armando. I know that you are working, but have a good night. Enjoy your evening working. Bye, Rene. Okay, there we go, Kalik. How are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Uh, bien, gracias a Dios. Ok, great, great. I'm doing ok, sis. I'm doing fine, I'm, I'm doing uh, well. Mm -hmm. Ok. I'm, I'm doing fine. Great, great. How can I help you? Do you have any question? Uh, no, no. I don't. Is it I everything don't clear? Uh, Is it clear? everything clear? Clear, clear, uh, claro. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you want to practice anything? Quisiera practicar algo? Um. Uh, no, no. No. Eh, no. Eh, ¿Le puedo servir en alguna cosa que usted quisiera resolver? ¿Una duda, una pregunta? Um, no, no, ninguna. Ninguna. Ok. Sí. And how do you feel in the course? ¿Cómo se siente en el curso? Uh, muy bien, este, 
Al, ya son, bueno, el, de, en el curso que hemos usado hemos tenido tres, tres maestras, tres teachers y cada una tiene su metodología uh -huh, uh -huh. y son bien entretenidas y bueno, en el caso con ustedes, si esta es la metodología que utiliza nos ayuda más, yo siento que me ayuda más a, a desarrollar en lo que estoy más como, como atrasado en el este, a mí me cuesta bastante retenerlo. Algunas uh -huh. palabras, a veces uh -huh. cuando necesito usar algunas palabras para expresarme, se me olvidan, uh -huh. aunque ya las conozco. Le, le agarra sí. como ese el soponcio donde le hablan ya en inglés. <risa> Ajá, cabal, ahí, se le, ahí se le confunde, se le hace sopa todo. Ajá. Sí. Ok, mire, en sí, ese sí. caso yo le puedo dar un tip bien, bien que se lo he dado a, a sus demás compañeros. Les digo yo, lo primero es que debemos saber que es una persona comunicándose con otra, ¿verdad? Entonces, a partir de ahí pensemos, no me puede decir algo que yo no sepa o que um, ajeno, ah. ajeno a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, nunca tenga miedo usted, Calec, de preguntar. Eh, Disculpe, ¿qué fue lo que dijo? ¿Ok? Excuse me, ah. what did you say? Es más, lo puede anotar para que sí. se lo aprenda y siempre, usted no tenga miedo de preguntar eso. ¿Por qué? Porque realmente no comprendió. Entonces, ¿cómo le va a contestar si no comprendió? Entonces, usted le dice, excuse me, ah. what did you say okay what did you say excuse me what did you say o usted le puede decir fácilmente bueno estos también se los he dado eh, a otras compañeras suyas que yo les digo expliquen a la persona my vocabulary uh -huh. is limited okay my vocabulary uh -huh. is limited Can you repeat that, please? Okay. My vocabulary sí. is limited. Can you repeat that, please? Y la persona, créame, automáticamente se detiene y se lo repite. Y le dice, y si no, aún así no lo comprende, le va a explicar. Y le va a decir, este, de alguna otra manera se va a tener que dar a entender. Y eso le va a servir a usted para aprender algo que no sabía. ¿Ok? Sí. Así vamos enriqueciendo, enriqueciendo. Pero usted no tenga miedo, no tenga miedo, mire. Usted ahorita ya tiene un buen mucho de vocabulario, ya tiene una buena lista de palabras que conoce así una tras otra. Ahora, sí. debemos trabajar en estructurar, estructurar cada expresión. Por ejemplo, esta es una, mire, esta que acabamos de ver es una expresión estructurada. Entonces, usted sí. siempre que le pregunten algo, use la información de la pregunta. Pero siempre recuerde que para contestarle a alguien, usted tiene que hacer una idea pequeñita. Subject uh, plus verb uh, plus the complement. ¿Ok? Si yo le sí. pregunto, por ejemplo, uh, Where do you work, Kalek? Where do you work? Uh, I work in uh -huh. um, I work in, uh, in Energía del Pacífico. Excelente. Entonces, ¿se fija cómo me lo contestó? Un sujeto, I. Uh -huh. Un verbo, I work at Energías del Pacífico. Right? There you go. So, ¿se fija? Aquí tenemos siempre, siempre lo usual, lo usual es que armemos una idea básica, o co pero tiene que ser algo completo. Entonces, sí. subject plus verb plus the complement. I work uh, at, y dice el nombre de la compañía, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, okay. 
Entonces, a cualquier pregunta que le hagan, siempre recuérdese que va a ser dependiendo de quién están hablando. Si están hablando de mí, ah, pues el sujeto soy yo. Si están hablando Ajá, de yo. mi jefe, el sujeto es mi jefe. Ok. Por ejemplo, uh, ¿Does your boss send emails? Does your boss send emails? Uh, he, he does, he does, he does send emails. Vale, aquí el verbo es send, ¿verdad? Send, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces no es das. Sí le puedo ah. contestar perfectamente, yes, he does, que es una pregunta más Ajá. directa y está como más simplificado. Pero si yo lo contesto con una, una respuesta completa, your boss is a man or is a woman? Is your boss a man a or man. a woman? A man. He, ok, he, then. Is a man. Ajá, entonces usted puede contestar con my boss. O puede contestar con he. ¿Ok? Uh, My boss sí. sends. Ajá, aquí hay un error, mire. Porque aquí le pusimos la S. Aquí es donde sí va la S. ¿Ok? My boss sends emails. Email. Y ya. Pero es más fácil decir, yes, he does. ¿Verdad? Uh, Volvemos al punto que si hay un sujeto. Y hay un verbo. Este does le resume todo lo demás. Sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ¿estamos cabales hasta ahí? Sí. Está Are bien. we okay? Everything clear? Uh, Is it everything clear? Uh, yes, I... Puedo contestar, I clear. Uh, no, porque yo me le digo, is no. it, entonces usted me dice, yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. uh -huh. O si quiere contestar completa la respuesta sería, yes, it is everything clear. Ok. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Everything. Every, everything. Clear. 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 Uh -huh. Excellent. Entonces yo le digo, is it everything clear? Yes, it is everything clear. Ok. Ok. Le voy a volver a preguntar, is it everything clear? Uh, yes, it is, it is every, everything clear. Excellent. There you go, Khaled. <laughs> ok, then, um, si ya no hay otra cosa que, que, que tenga duda, Creo que ahí finalizamos, ¿verdad? Sí, ya todo claro. Ya. Ok, then, Calex. Si algún momento tiene preguntas, acuérdese que me las puede hacer por el WhatsApp y yo con mucho gusto le contesto, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ok, Calex. Okay. Then have a very good night. Ok. See Thank you, you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye, bye.